This video is about how to use MapLine's Excel add-in. Here in Excel, I have a list of all the different stores that I own with some information about them. And what I want to do is I want to upload these to a brand new map and then keep them up to date. I know that sounds crazy, but it's super, super easy to do with the add-in. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to click on the MapLine tab of the Excel ribbon. And then I'm just going to go straight to Upload. I'm going to click on that. Excel is automatically going to select the entire range of cells. But if I wanted to, I could change that to just include a specific number of columns or a specific number of rows. But I'm going to keep it how it is and hit OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a name, so my stores, and I'm going to put it on a new map that's going to be called Track Performance. And then I just hit Continue. And boom, now the data is uploaded and it's already on the map. So I can click right here and go straight to that map. Now, obviously, I zoom in and I can see all the different stores that I own, and then I can start to use MapLine just like I normally would. Now let's say that I had some things change within my data set, and I want to go in and upload that so that my map is up to date. So to do that, it's super easy. I'm just going to click Replace. I'm going to hit OK because I keep the same range of cells. And then I'm just going to select the data set that I want to replace, which is My Stores. So I click on that, and I hit Continue. And there you go. Super easy. The data is replaced, so now it's the most up-to-date version. Now let's say that one of my colleagues has uploaded a data set onto MapLine that I don't have on my computer. If I want to have access to that, it's super simple. All I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Download, and then I'm going to select the data set. So the data set that my colleague uploaded was Job Applicants. So I'm going to click on that and then hit Continue. And obviously I want to put this in a new worksheet so it doesn't replace everything that I already have, and hit OK. And there you go. Here's that spreadsheet, the job applicant. So I have all that information here, and if I wanted to, I could again upload that to my map, or I can even come up here and click on this Maps button, and I can then go and jump to any one of my maps that I've created. And that's how easy it is to use MapLine's new Excel add-in.